Hey guys, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what was formerly known as Adobe Typekit, which has now changed to Adobe Fonts. We're gonna look at the redesign, some of the things that have changed, and if you've got a creative cloud subscription like myself, then some of the things that you get within that, because there's a few new additions and it's pretty awesome. Not to mention a ton of free fonts. So this isn't a sponsored video or anything by Adobe, just something that I thought was pretty cool that came out of Adobe Max and I thought you might be interested. So uh, yeah, enjoy. Rightio, so you can see I've loaded up Adobe Fonts. This previously used to be called Adobe Typekit. And if you go to your taskbar, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, click your Creative Cloud icon and you've got the Assets tab. From there, you've got the Fonts tab. You can manage and view all of your synced fonts, or you can click Browse All Fonts here on this button and it will load this web page where you can browse a ton of fonts. So previously before with Typekit, we were able to sync uh, only so many fonts within our Creative Cloud subscription. At Adobe Max, they announced that you can now sync as many as you like. So there's something like 13 to 14,000 fonts. So uh, they were like, they have all of these. And, and I was at least like, yes, thank you, I will. So that's really cool. And of course, there's so many fonts. The thing I love about this redesign is it's so easy to navigate them. So of course, we can view by list or by grid. And with so many fonts, it's pretty good that you can do that to pick your preferred style of browsing up front. We can choose our text. So we've got the alphabet, numbers, the classic, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Or you can enter your own text so I could type my name. Maybe I was looking for a new font for my logo or something and I can adjust the text size in real time. And I can sort by featured, by name, or by the newest font as well. And then I can just browse down these, lovely, lovely. Now, similar to Adobe Stock, I can show some filters, make some changes, and then hide it again. I love this consistency with Adobe Stock as well. That's something else I use and I find incredibly easy. So I can pick from a various uh, classification of fonts. So let's go for hand and I get some hand-drawn fonts. I can also filter by paragraph or heading fonts. And then we've got loads of properties down here as well. Loads of properties. So I could look for something especially bold. And then I can just deactivate that as well. And it just loads this preview in real time. It tells me there are 39 font families. And I can see here as I scroll down, this has one font, one font, two fonts here. So let's look for something else. This one here, San Vito has four fonts. Now we can also filter by language and we can also look for paid fonts if we want to purchase them, but we're just going to keep looking at the free ones for now. And it's literally as simple as just clicking the button, the slider here, activate fonts. You have activated four fonts. You've deactivated four fonts. It's literally that simple. And then you can start using them in the Creative Cloud apps, Photoshop, Illustrator, XD, whatever you like. Now I can click this font. Let's go with San Vito. And you can see here, we've got a little bit more information. We've got some tabs here. We can click about usage details. It just scrolls you down to all this information at the bottom of the page here. And then of course we have lots of variations, lots of different styles as well. And of course we've got these same options here so we can type some text. I could check out what the numbers look like, for example, bring this up in size, go down here and I can either activate all fonts, nice and easy up the top here, or I could just go through and just pick the ones that I want. So if I just go back, one thing that I would love to see in an update is the ability to scroll down just a few more fonts before seeing the previous or the next options here. Just because there's so many fonts that are available, which is awesome, but I would just love to scroll down a few more fonts before I have to navigate to the next page. But yeah, overall, super, super impressed. Love this clean new UI. It's so easy to filter out all of these different fonts and just find that font that I'm looking for and preview it with different types of text at different sizes. Super easy to use. And I just wanted to make you guys aware that this is like, this is actually a thing. Typekit was a thing before. It's now called Adobe Fonts. It's even more of a thing. It's even better. Thousands of fonts available to download. So yeah, if fonts are something that interests you, then this is definitely worth checking out.
So there we go, Adobe Type Kit, now called Adobe Fonts. Hopefully this video was helpful and informative, but if you've got any questions, please do drop those down below. As always, like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.